Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm bringing you a quick video showing you a first look at some of the items you can get for the upcoming wedding event. So obviously we had that Nintendo trailer drop uh, a couple of weeks ago now showing what to expect for May Day and for the uh, foreseeable future for the game. Obviously we had Leaf Joiners, we had that awful May Day tour, but now we've also got, thanks to Nookazen, a look at some of the wedding items that we are going to be getting when this new update does drop. So without further ado, let's have a look at these new wedding items. So I have had a brief look at these, but I've not actually gone through them all myself yet. So I thought we could do that for today's video and hopefully give you guys a bit of an insight to what you can expect other than, you know, Rover's briefcase, which is an awful reward for what was quite frankly an awful event as well. But I digress. So first off, we have the wedding wand. Traditionally, the bride does throw this bouquet of flowers over her shoulder. And that, of course, then gets caught by someone who's supposed to be next to be married. So I think it's a nod to that. But obviously, you can't throw this. It is just a wand, uh, which is also going for 7.5 million bells, which is absolutely insane. Uh, next up, we have the wedding arch. And this time, we've got variants. So we've got the cute one, the chic one, and of course, the garden one. I'm not a massive fan of the garden one. I do quite like the chic one. Uh, and then the uh, the cute one's okay as well. I sort of like the white and blue theme. Uh, also going for ridiculous prices. Obviously, this is just what people are charging right now. But I imagine it would have been the same with uh, Bunny Day when that started. But now people probably are giving the stuff away. Uh, so next up, we have Wedding Cake. So again, we've got the cute, chic, and garden. And I've got to say, that does look like the best cake there. I mean, I don't get why you put a ribbon on top of it. But the cake looks nice. And again, you know, people are asking for 7 million bells for that. That's insane. Uh, next up, something I probably would use myself. The wedding bench. So I wouldn't use it in either cute or chic. Although the chic one is quite nice. But that garden one, inside like a little secret flower garden. With a few yellow and white flowers around it. That would actually look pretty cool with like some little stone path leading up to it. I'm sure you guys will make some crazy cool stuff soon anyway when this does drop. Uh, next up we have Wedding Chair. And this again comes in the different variants. I don't actually like the garden one for that one, which is a bit of a shock. It looks a bit different to the, uh, the bench. A bit too green. Uh, something that isn't green though, the Wedding Fence which is obviously just like a piece of cloth between what looks to be two sort of uh, gold posts. Obviously this is sort of a more specific use case, so you could probably put a little path there or like a fake red carpet or something. Uh, I don't quite know how that'd fit into people's islands, but you guys always come up with weird stuff. Uh, the Animal Crossing community for making islands is a, is a strange one, but I'm sure you guys will think of something. Uh, wedding pumps, nothing too much to say about these. Other than, they're not worth 5 million. I can tell you that for a fact. And then, wedding shoes. Which, somehow cost a little bit more. I guess it's the, uh, the foot coverage. There's a little bit more material, so it's worth an extra 100k. Which is absolutely absurd. But yeah, you can get shoes like those already, so I'm not a massive fan of those items. Uh, same with, like, the tuxedo, but we'll go on to that. Wedding table. Uh, so there's the cute variant the chic variant and the garden one which again I don't like garden started off strong but now I'm not a fan but again sort of a specific use case I mean I don't think many people are gonna have that in their kitchen but a few might you never know something a bit more boring this time a red wedding rug so it looks like it's got like leaves underneath some flowers there uh, so nothing too crazy but there is different colors of that but they're their own item entirely. The wedding tuxedo, we're not even going to honour that. 10 million for pretty much a tuxedo we've already got in game. Not worth it in my opinion. So next up we have the blue wedding rug. Again, it looks like it's got the, uh, the little green pattern. And then of course it's got what looks to be pink flowers on there. 30 Nook Mile tickets for that. I mean, that's not insane, but you know, 4 million kind of is. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the last one, the white wedding rug. 
so that one's a bit actually a bit harder to see um, but again it looks like just some flowers and leaves on it now wedding candle set this is something I don't hate surprisingly so we've of course got the cute one the uh, chic one oh they do seem a bit different they don't have the ribbon on that one and I don't know that bit looks a bit more oh it's not more detailed it's just it looks a little bit different uh, and then obviously the garden one. Oh, that has a few leaves on there that's actually pretty cool um, so I mean don't love those but they're not too bad um, we've got candles in the game already so it's not it's not mind-blowingly good this however is something I am excited to get so we've obviously got the uh, what looks to be pink roses there maybe a couple of white ones thrown in at the side uh, but that's the cute one then you've got the more sort of yellowy white ones for chic and then mostly yellow for garden uh, and that's that's got the uh, brightest colored leaves and then you've got the dark one and then sort of neutral but they're pretty cool because obviously at the minute we have like the hanging ivy and stuff but obviously those we don't have plants for those uh, if that makes sense but obviously if you have you know a front garden for your house with like yellow roses this would look dead nice in like the main room of your house but again you guys always seem to come up with cool islands that blow me away so yeah I'm sure this won't be any different you guys will all use this stuff uh, the head table again this is a bit specific usage but obviously people will work out like secret gardens and stuff that have the little benches and the tables in not necessarily like little wedding venues or whatever just cute little secret sort of fairy tale type gardens because uh, I know a few people are doing stuff like that anyway but there's the uh, cute one the chic one and garden again not a massive fan I think it's just too green obviously gardens are mostly green if you guys are aware uh, and then something I don't think I'd ever use but I'd probably buy just to just to flex you know it's a cool 100k to buy or 10 million if you buy it now but we have the uh, the white wedding pipe organ a dark brown one and a natural one see that looks better uh, I don't get why they've not got the same names um, but you know it is what it is this is an item I do love and I do want one of these as soon as I can get my hands on it or maybe before they're going kind of cheap okay maybe maybe not but you know if they've got some on their wish list I can get we'll see but again we've got cute message cute Reese and Cyrus so that one obviously just says welcome uh, and I've got the we're open neon sort of retro diner sign uh, at the front of my island but I imagine people can replace that with something like this and like a little flower garden that look pretty cool uh, if you like Reese and Cyrus I guess that's pretty cool uh, and then obviously we've got the chic one which is similar with a slightly different message that we can't quite make out but then obviously the chic Reese and Cyrus and then the garden one this is the one I want because I do want to focus on more natural areas or at least I have to because Isabel hates the island so as soon as I get stuff like this, I can start working on little gardens. And then, of course, we've got the uh, recent Cyrus variant of that as well. Uh, so we're going on to the last four items. These ones are a bit simple, a bit boring. So we've got a white wedding flooring. Nothing too good. And that also rhymed. Uh, so, you know, I'm a poet now. I know I'm not going to say I didn't even know it. Uh, we've got the brown wedding flooring, which clearly isn't favoured as much as it's only worth 1 million compared to the white floors 8 million wow okay and then of course we've got the uh, green wedding floor in as well I'm surprised there's not like a pink one because I mean it'd go with all this other stuff and then finally we have the wedding flower stand another pretty cool item uh, so of course we've got the, uh, the, the cute one there the uh, little bow on it and the pink roses chic with sort of the beige white roses and then of course we've got the garden one that's that's the only one missing a bow what is going on with this uh, and this one's got sort of a more natural finish uh, sort of wood base and then yellow flowers on top but there you have it guys there is an early look at the wedding items you can expect from of course the wedding update uh, so as you may have noticed these all come from wedding season so obviously the DIY recipes and types get sorted into seasons and this one will be called wedding season who would have ever guessed that but 
anyway guys that is it for today's video i do hope you enjoyed sorry about the uh, gap between this upload and my last one uh, i've done a couple of streams and some behind the scenes stuff like getting the discord up and running so if you guys do want to join that uh we've got about 50 members now or nearly 50 members which is insane we've got like a little trading hub so if you guys want this or any other items when they come out uh, and you're struggling to get the last few maybe someone on my discord will have it so you might as well join or even if you're just looking to make millions with turnips there will be a link down below for that and as i mentioned i do also stream uh, so that is just twitch.tv forward slash rayroon that will be linked down below as well and we do play animal crossing and other games so make sure you definitely check that out also guys i just wanted to say Thank you so much for all of the support. Uh, at the minute, we're on around 375 subs, or well, something close to that. We're probably past it by the time this goes up. But we're so close to 400 now. Literally only the other day, I was celebrating getting 300, which was already double what my channel was before I started producing Animal Crossing content. We're on like 150, nearly 160, I think, or somewhere around that. And like I say, now we're on over 375, or at least very close to it. So we'll be over 400 in no time. So thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos. Obviously, I know a lot of it has come from making the Amiibos. But hopefully you guys stick around and enjoy this content too. If you do, you could leave a like down below. That would help me out massively. And if you do want to see any other videos, just drop me a comment. If you want to see me stream a game that's not Animal Crossing, just let me know and we can we can hopefully get that done for you but like i said that is it for today's video thank you very much for watching take care stay safe and until next time peace